Hello boys and girls. Welcome to peek over my shoulder in Wasteland 2. We have just done a main mission thing here and we now have to put some doodads on radio towers. Also I just remembered this. Okay. And let's see what the map says. Ah, okay, so we can't go into the high pool straight up. Hmm, this is the location that we heard about from a trader. Let's see if we can actually go there. I guess not. Ooh, ooh. The hammer will strike against the daughter of stars, and redbirds will fly out of the east. Destroy Vegas in the night. What? That sounded like some sort of religious thing. So I'm guessing that some locations are uh, well off limits until we get some radio radio. Radioactivity protection. Okay, what's up there? Yeah, so it would seem that this uh, this place is currently inaccessible. Very intriguing indeed. Let's stop by. Yes. Well then, here we are again with the um, <coughs> loyal goat waiting for us. To uh, to tackle fraps a little bit. Ah, oh yeah. So dogs. Oh. Let's not. Let's just try to talk to them. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Should we talk to Vargas or is he gonna be all bitchy again? Great job reacquiring the repeaters, recruits. I hope you found a chunk of the synth to bring back for Mer Captain. Also, let me personally thank you for finding Ace's killer, whatever it was. Make us proud, recruits. I, I don't know if it makes any difference who's talking, but I uh, will bring her Great up instead, just in case. Repeaters, recruits. I hope you found a chunk of the synth to bring back for Mer Captain. Also, let me personally thank you for finding Ace's killer, whatever it was. Oh, I can change the. Oh, yeah. Hmm, okay. Door. Oh, damn it! So, in the future, I have to keep in mind that reporting can also happen directly. Congratulations, Echo One. You've done well. I don't know. Ace found plenty of robots in his time, and they never gave him any trouble. So, I'm wondering if this was something new, something worse. And if it is, we better find out. Listen, if you brought that thing back with you, or even just a part of it, give it to me and I'll show it to Mer Captain in the armory. She might be able to ID it. If that happens, you should talk to her once you have access to the Citadel. By the time you get the repeaters up, she might have something you can use. One of the brightest minds in the Citadel. She's really helped us get our weapons and armor up to scratch. 
and she's always coming up with new and better stuff. Worth a visit just to see what she's got cooking. Hmm. Nicely done, recruits. I'll hand this off to our researcher, Captain Murcaptain. She'll be a pig in shit with Captain. <laughs> Excellent work. Let me have a look. Hmm. Not much here, is there? Let me see. Fell into the snake squeezing cellar. Okay. Getting that feeling of being followed. Damn, it tells a sad story, doesn't it? Guess what came out of the dark was that damn killer robot. Well, looks like your best lead is to find this snake squeezing salesman, whoever he is. Mentions rail nomad here, so have a look there if you haven't already. Maybe this fella knows something more, like where the rest of the logbook is. Okie dokie. Ace and I went way back, back to the prison days. We fought Finster and the base Cochise robot army together. We rebuilt the Citadel from scratch. That, that I sent him on the mission which got him killed. He's heavy on my heart. And Angie's never gonna forgive me. Once you prove yourself, the Citadel will be your new home. Consider this mission the final test of your training. If you succeed, you are welcome within our walls. If you fail, <laughs> you aren't cut out to be a desert ranger, and we won't let you in. Our old stomping grounds, since right after the apocalypse. We moved out of there about 15 years ago when we took over this place. Wasn't a bad place, but the Citadel is more defensible. The Red Scorpions have moved into the prison since then. Nasty bunch from all accounts. <laughs> they call themselves the Red Scorpion Militia now, and lately they've been filling the airwaves with a lot of trash about how they're the real law and order around here. Just another raider gang, if you ask me. I don't give them the time of day. Craziest jackalope we ever faced. <laughs> might have been human once, might have been seen too. But when we met him, he was a crazy android bent on wiping out the human race <laughs> and replacing us all with mutants. Got his head in our museum if you want to take a look. <laughs> Place was nearly the death of us. Hell, it was nearly the death of the whole human race. Damned malevolent mainframe churning out an endless army of robots. If we hadn't stopped it, well, I hate to think. I wonder if this is the location in Fallout 2, I mean Wasteland 1, that's like uh, the mm, far east end of the map, quite uh, like the river, uh, if you follow the river uh, northeast and then you will end up in a town that was filled with really advanced uh, uh, really advanced, uh, I don't know, robo soldiers and whatnot. I think we might have stumbled in there by accident. Another of the old gang back from the day. She's a tough cookie, Angie, but she's pretty broken up about Ace. We're close. Make us proud, recruits. Yeah. Okay. Let's. Uh Let's upgrade her. Mm. <laughs> yeah, one more of these and one more of these. Ah, it would seem that she's usually the first uh, to reach the new level requirements. Interesting. Okie dokie.
<laughs> As a matter of fact, <laughs> ah, so he isn't uh, cleaning up the graffiti because he wants to tidy up the shit, but uh but I'm guessing he made it and now they uh, they are forcing him to <laughs> do it. So what did we get? points rolling two points okay oh yeah and everybody got skill points from that uh, statue didn't they so yes read it <coughs> success awesome Come on now. <coughs> I wonder if we should talk to Angie or maybe not just yet. Okay, so he's not gonna let us in just yet either. Let's go talk to her just in case. This is, I take it, this one uh, heals an animal companion, maybe? Okay, I don't think we have anything to buy or sell right now, so... I go one out. have some new info. We're still not gonna take her with us, but... with the perception thingy. not going to tell her anything until we have like actual solid information okay 
So, next stop, High Pool, I guess. Hmm, <laughs> actually, no. So, more water is better. Also, gives us a little bit more wiggle room and such. Just a little bit. Nah, I'm I'm not in the mood for bunny punching right now. Well, what do you know? It's on the way. How we could possibly have missed it before is beyond me. Yeah, let's leave the bunnies out of it right now. Yes. Shoo! Okay, um, let's enter. Well then, this seems somewhat similar to the, uh, the, the to the other natural thing. Manual save. Better shape up. Also, let's check our gear. want him to be over encumbered. You hold on to it for now. <laughs> well, well, well. Y 
yoink. So what do we have here? Okay, you stay in this corner. What's happening here? <laughs> Maybury, okay. Okay. Uh, first, let me take these. I think he's too far, yeah. Let's just, let's just take them. River? So is this the, the river that uh, that was featured in uh, in Wasteland 1 that ran through the whole map, I wonder? Hmm. Let's check out this upper area first. flies at least.
where are they? Uh, turn. Okay, there they come. Two. Three. Please tell me I did have some explosives on me. I do have some. I think we're too far for this right now, but yeah, need to get, need to wait them getting closer. Super effective. Uh oh. Okay, gather around. His move is before them. Okay, let's see. Let's let's risk it. It's gonna be bad, I know, but oh, okay. This wasn't as uh, as powerful as a grenade then. Let's just bring everybody farther away. Ow. Shit. Oh, shit. Well then, it would seem that I need to reload. And reconsider my life's choices. <laughs> 